now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Justin Betty. Over the last week, school wrapped up for many students and teachers across the North Woods and North Central Wisconsin. In Rhinelander, the Boys and Girls Club is working to make sure students have some place safe to go after school once it resumes this fall. Newswatch 12's Megan Mamlock joins us now live in studio with details. Megan. Thanks, Justin. Two years ago, the Boys and Girls Club of the Northwoods used to just be the Boys and Girls Club of Langley County. But with efforts from Kyle Parrish, a new club will have its own site for the club located at the Central School Library. Detective Kyle Parrish wishes he had a program like this when he was growing up. I grew up with a brother and we kind of ran the neighborhood in Fond du Lac when I grew up. This definitely would have helped me a little bit. My dad worked two jobs, my mom was always working, no fault of their own, but it would have been kind of nice to have a place to have someone do that for us. He says he was inspired by a drug endangered children conference in 2019 to begin the process of creating a boys and girls club in Rhinelander. And with all the kids that I deal with through the drug endangered children program, I knew that we needed more stuff here in Rhinelander to help those kids. I worked with social services and a lot of other agencies to kind of get to the point that we're at. The club will provide after school snacks, help with homework and plans to work with other organizations like the 4-H club to give kids a chance to see all that Rhinelander has has to offer. Having kids have a program after school and during the summer where they can do different type of programming that'll help make them better citizens and kind of give them an opportunity to see what kind of work we have here in Rhinelander and build towards that. Parrish says getting the club ready for September has been a lot of work, but it's been worth it. I think this is something that our community greatly needs. I see it all the time. I still see it in my job and I, I can't wait to be able to provide this to our youth of our community. The annual membership fee for the school year is just $25. If you would like to help, there will be a cornhole tournament at Woodpecker Restaurant this Sunday with all the proceeds going to the Boys and Girls Club's new Rhinelander site. Justin. Thank you, Megan. Outside, Andrew, another hot one today. That's right, Justin, another hot one indeed. We're talking upper 80s to low 90s yet again. Looking at current temperatures, uh, we're cooling off from those daytime highs just slightly here. We will be cooling off to the 60s overnight yet again. Looking outside in Plover right now, seeing a kind of a mix of sun and clouds, pretty bright out there. Those winds have been a little more relaxed today, still coming out of the southwest, breezing at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking to the skies, now we have been having a few thunderstorms. Those have been down towards southern Wisconsin, passing over the map in Milwaukee area, staying dry for northern to central Wisconsin, and we could have a couple uh, light sprinkles coming down, maybe an isolated thunderstorm as we head into the evening period, but uh, those chances are going to be pretty slim. If you look now hour by hour at the next 12 hours, you'll notice we do have that sun and cloud mix to take us through the overnight period with partly cloudy skies, low temperatures down in the middle 60s, right up back to the 80s during your Tuesday. Justin. Thanks, Andrew. Six people, including three from Merrill, now face charges tied to conspiring to deliver meth. Department of Justice reports Merrill residents T.J. Myers, Amy Pelkey, and Matthew White are charged with conspiring to deliver meth and possessing 50 grams or more of meth for distribution. As part of a government investigation, they believe the group used the U.S. Postal Service to mail meth from Phoenix, Arizona to Oshkosh. Myers and White are now in state custody on state charges. Pelkey was released this morning on court-imposed conditions. Looking for someplace safe to trade goods, Wausau police want to help. They have a safe exchange parking zone outside their police station. They say the two parking spots are monitored 24-7 by video cameras, adding the two spots were designed to help with things that were sold on an online marketplace. The space can also be used potentially for child custody swaps. The number of new confirmed COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin continues to fall. Today, the State Department of Health Services reports just 65 new cases statewide. That drops her seven-day rolling average to 133. Meanwhile, DHS reports no new deaths today. We're averaging three per day over the last week. In Oneida County, the County Health Department reports there are no people hospitalized with COVID-19 right now. Meanwhile, the COVID vaccination efforts have stalled in Wisconsin. DHS reports last week fewer than 100,000 doses were given out. That is the least since early January. Across the state, about 43% of all people have now completed their COVID-19 vaccination. 
The FDA has approved a controversial drug designed to treat Alzheimer's disease. The long-awaited announcement came this morning in a news release. The drug Aducanubam is a first new treatment for Alzheimer's in nearly two decades. However, many experts say there's simply not enough evidence that the treatment actually works. In fact, some doctors have warned they will not prescribe it. It's important to note the treatment is not a cure for Alzheimer's and will not reverse progression of the disease. It is designed to slow it down. July 6th yesterday marked the anniversary of D-Day when Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy 77 years ago during World War II to liberate France from Nazis. Students from Rhinelander High School gathered yesterday to recognize that event. Many learned about the war with help of board games like Bolt Action. Owner of Magic Man Games and Rhinelander, Zach Hex, says the pandemic helped introduce more people to this type of hobby. There are plenty of games that are good for all audiences, all skill levels. You know, if you're brand new to tabletop, there's always a game that'll find you. History teacher Stephen Jopik says games like Bolt Action can help students build a passion for history, saying gamification is growing support from educators looking for new ways to connect with students. I don't necessarily do it in my classroom, but I definitely like try to use games as a as an educational tool. Um, you know, you're looking at sophomores back here who uh, have read more books on World War II than I did when I was in high school, for sure. You can find a full schedule of board game groups that meet at their shop on their Facebook page. Hex says they're always looking to start new game groups as well. Up North Beer Fest makes its return this Friday and Saturday, June 11th and 12th. The Eagle River Area Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Center is looking for volunteers to help on both those days with setup, brewer assistance, souvenir sales, and cleanup. If you're interested in helping, you can contact the Eagle River Chamber office. For more information on future events, you can visit eagleriver.org. For the first time in 20 years, the Langley County Fairgrounds hosted the Antigo Lions Club Roaring Raceway Off-Road Competition. The track hosted, a, in fact, a full weekend of racing events, including high-speed racing and door-to-door -door action. Officials say at least 8,000 fans were in attendance. Off-road racing will return to our area on June 26th at the Crandon International Raceway. People have been yearning for summer heat for months now. Those warmer temperatures are certainly here. Andrew's in with your full work week forecast and see how long these hot temperatures will stick around after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Has the pandemic interrupted your routine health care? Our exceptional team at the Lackbee Desire Health Center is determined to get you back on track. Our comprehensive primary care services include disease management, women's health, preventative care, and more. The convenience of our walk-in clinic is available when your family needs it the most. Full access to our on-site x-ray and lab services to expedite your care. Our friendly team is excited to meet you, and we are conveniently located in the Elis and Realty Building at the intersection of Highway 45 and 70. Artstart, WJFW, and Walmart collaborate to feature creative kids in the Northwoods. Submit your art projects, science experiments, and more at artstartrhinelander.org. Check out our 13,000 square foot newly renovated space in Eagle River. We focus only on welding so you can spend more time making sparks fly in our 36 welding booths. Finish the welding program in just four to six months. Our school is set up like a workplace so you'll be ready to get working right away. 99% of students find employment before or right after graduation. At AWI, we go beyond basic code standards and aim for perfection. As we work hard, we definitely have fun along the way. Carpet City. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City. Our prices will blow. 
Whether it's for work or play, you want a truck. A truck that'll get the job done right. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs. Over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, can be purchased online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Today was another day all about beating the heat. We had high temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s yet again today. Uh, not really seeing any record breakers out there at the moment. And for the rest of the week, we will be having those high temperatures in the 80s all the way into Friday until we cool on off Saturday, Sunday, Monday with temperatures getting into the upper to mid 70s. Our average high for this time of year in Rhinelander is 74. So staying well above that all the way through the rest of the work week. Now, if you look at those current conditions out there, we still are in the upper to mid 80s all across the area. Some of us still uh, only in the 70s even, so a bit cooler towards Milwaukee and up towards Ashland. And even down towards the Milwaukee area right now, seeing some thunderstorms, none in the North Woods or central Wisconsin right now. If we look at that radar, we are seeing those passing by the Milwaukee area. And now if we traverse a little further towards the north, central Wisconsin staying dry, dealing with some clouds passing on by, and the North Woods staying dry as well. That mix of sun and clouds will take us then into the overnight period. So time this out for you overnight. We will be overnight getting down to the mid to upper 60s. Here we are at 530 in the morning seeing that mix of sun and clouds to start off the day. And then we will be dry for the first half of the day. Looking into the afternoon will be that opportunity for thunderstorms and rain chances through the north woods. But that's not going to come until a little bit later on to the afternoon to evening period. And then we will be drying on out once again through the overnight, having those temperatures down into the middle to upper 60s once again. Now for any thunderstorms that come our way tomorrow, they will be not severe so we're seeing that kind of mint green color statewide in any thunderstorms tomorrow we could be concerned about uh, heavy rain and gusty winds in those otherwise I think those will be uh, not a huge concern on your Tuesday though we are going to continue on with those rain chances for the rest of the week with a little bit of a pause in the middle of the week Thursday and Friday will ramp those back on up I think Friday will be our best shot of the week for significant rain and thunderstorm chances throughout the region so looking at your Friday here we are going to start off on the dry side 9 a.m. Uh, as it's dry all across the entire state, but then as a cold front works its way through the region, we will be having that opportunity for showers and thunderstorms statewide that will be crossing Friday into Saturday, and then we'll dry on out Saturday afternoon, and then we'll stay dry uh, Saturday night into your Sunday and even into Monday. Now, along with drying on out, we are going to be reducing that humidity as we hit the weekend as well. So the weekend we're going to be in the 70s. We are going to be feeling a lot more comfortable uh, getting rid of that mugginess by the end of the week, but that's not yet. That is going to be uh, towards the end of the week that we have that coming. And for now, tonight, we are going to be having a very similar overnight that we have been having for the last several nights with partly cloudy skies and low temperatures getting down to the middle 60s. A light southwest breeze will be felt coming in at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And now let's look at your Tuesday. We are going to be having that sun to start off the day, and then we'll wait until the afternoon to evening period to have an opportunity for thunderstorms and showers. High temperatures tomorrow will be up at 88, and that will be with the southeast breeze coming in at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And now let's take a look at your Northwoods Furniture and Mattress seven day forecast. After a chance for thunderstorms and showers on Tuesday, we'll have a couple dry days Wednesday and Thursday. Another chance for storms and showers Friday, and then we're cooling on off into the weekend with those highs in the 70s. Justin? All right, thank you, Andrew. We're not alone with these above average temperatures right now. The heat is on across much of the country, with many communities opening up cooling centers and cutting classes in schools as they deal with these sweltering temperatures. Jay Gray gives us a closer look. An early summer break of sorts. I'm pretty excited so um, I can get home early and just relax for a little bit longer than I can, a little bit longer than I normally do. Students in Connecticut and across the Northeast limited to half days because of the heat. But when you add the layer of mask wearing that's still required in our schools throughout the state, that's a whole nother challenge. We have some older buildings. We have some uh, classrooms that are on second floors that heat up very quickly, very fast. It's heating up across much of the country right now. Temperatures already climbing in some areas close to triple digits. I'd say this is more like July 4th. And yeah. We, <laughs> we're about a month <laughs> early. 
Shorts, sleeveless shirts, and trips to the beach. Millions from the Northeast through the Midwest looking for any way to cool down. It's 20 degrees cooler here than it is at home, so there was no doubt of us getting in the car and driving down. The glaring sun leaving the West dried out. An ongoing drought intensifying as the temperatures rise. This is the driest it's ever been in my life, and I've been farming and ranching for um, full time for about 25 years. Blistering conditions with the official start of summer still a couple of weeks away. That's Jay Gray reporting. A Democratic senator once again making waves this week for going against his party's agenda. We'll take a closer look at why Joe Manchin says the American right to vote is becoming a partisan issue when we come back. Every living creature on Earth needs Mother Nature's water for survival. From the family pet, whether it's the dog, our fish in a fish tank, to the precious little munchkins running around. For seven decades, Maher Water Corporation has been supplying and treating this water for the entire family with products made here in Wisconsin by Water Care. So call us today for the cleanest, safest water around. You have found your soulmate. Now it's time to find the perfect ring. At Golden Carrot Jewelers, you can choose from an extensive selection of engagement and wedding rings. Fresh designs reflecting the most current trends. From organic, art deco, and vintage design to timeless classics in white, yellow, and rose gold. See the new Romance Collection, Lyria and Lumiere Bridal Collections, and new styles from Gabriel New York, Eskashi, and more. Engagements begin here. Will yours? Golden Carrot Jewelers, downtown Manaqua. Join us as we continue the second Saturday in June tradition with the Rhinelander Car Show. June 12th from 9 to 3 on Baird Avenue. The Rhinelander Car Show is always free to our spectators. Car registration is $20 per vehicle and you must pre-register your show vehicle in advance. Receive a goodie bag and custom car show t-shirt with your registration. Trophies will be awarded at 2. For more information, visit us on Facebook or RhinelanderCarshow.com. Update the lighting in your home with help from Menards. Find your style with over 2,000 light fixtures from Patriot Lighting. This LED flat panel light is the perfect maintenance-free way to add light to any room. With 5,500 lumens, it'll brighten up any space. Plus, you can easily choose from five different color temperatures with the push of a button. All Patriot Lighting is 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Beautiful home near Land O'Lakes being sold to the highest bidder regardless of price. Sunday, June 27th. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Art Start, WJFW, and Walmart collaborate to feature creative kids in the Northwoods. Submit your art projects, science experiments, and more at artstartrhinelander.org. Rescan now to get NBC Plus 4 subchannels. Enjoy Cozy TV or the classics on Antenna TV. View HSN on Dot 4 and QVC on Dot 5. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. Senator Joe Manchin is once again making headlines for going against his own party's plans. The West Virginia Democrat has announced he will not support the Senate's voting rights bill. As Brianna Kyler reports, he says the debate over the right to vote has become too partisan. Senator Joe Manchin announced he will vote against the For the People Act, essentially closing the door on Democrats' push for large-scale voting rights reform on Capitol Hill. Manchin defended his decision in an op-ed in the Charleston Gazette Mail, writing voting and election reform that is done in a partisan manner will all but ensure partisan divisions continue to deepen. I think it's a wrong piece of legislation to bring our country together and unite our country, and I'm not supporting that because I think it would divide us further. I don't want to be in a country that's divided any further than I'm in right now. I love my country, and I think my Democrat and Republican colleagues feel the same. Fellow Democrats like Congresswoman Barbara Lee pushed back. I hope he reconsiders what his position is because this is not about partisan advantage. This is fundamental to our democracy. The West Virginia senator is the only Democrat who isn't a co-sponsor of the bill, which the party says will help stop new restrictions on voting imposed by several Republican-led state legislatures. Moves condemned by President Biden, who asked Congress to prioritize the protection of voting rights. I'm going to fight like heck 
with every tool at my disposal for its passage. And while Manchin says he supports the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, a far less sweeping bill than the For the People Act, he once again emphasized his refusal to end the filibuster, a Senate rule which requires a 60-vote threshold to advance most legislation, writing, I believe that partisan legislation will destroy the already weakening binds of our democracy. But many Democrats, like independent Senator Angus King, say this issue could be worth changing the filibuster. If it comes down to uh, voting rights and the rights of Americans to, to go to the go to the polls and select their leaders versus the filibuster, I'll choose democracy. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. Since its inception five years ago, Incredible Bank Foundation and Incredible Bank employees and owners have donated nearly $1,250,000 to charities throughout the Manaqua and Eagle River area. But the truest measure of our support comes from our employees who have contributed 4,000 hours in five short years to community organizations that better the lives of residents living in Manaqua and Eagle River. Incredible Bank. Helping you start something incredible and finishing it. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? Are you constantly adjusting your thermostat only to have your energy bill skyrocket? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. They custom build and install weather tight replacement windows and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. Don't miss out. Call Renewal by Anderson today. Some days, you just don't have it. Not my uncle, though. He's taking Trulicity for his type 2 diabetes. And now, he's really on his game. Once weekly, Trulicity lowers your A1C by helping your body release the insulin it's already making. Most people reach an A1C under 7%. Plus, Trulicity can lower your risk of cardiovascular events. It can also help you lose up to 10 pounds. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Show your world what's truly inside. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. Quarterback Tom Brady keeps setting records even in the offseason. The autographed rookie card of the now seven-time Super Bowl champ went for a record $3.1 million, the most ever paid for a football card at public auction. It was part of the Leland's Mid-Spring Classic Auction, including the, fo the football as well, that Brady threw for his first career touchdown pass back in October of 01. That football sold for nearly $429,000. Sports cards have been a, on a bit of a boom lately during the pandemic. And yeah, that's definitely some serious change to be talking about for kidding. a card. Wow. Serious temperatures outside as well. That's right. Look at so Let's look at those high temperatures one more time for today. Again, upper 80s, low 90s were common across the area, and I think we will be having that for the rest of the week, having that cool off coming not until the weekend. Looking outside currently, we are dry in central Wisconsin, a few passing clouds right now. And the Northwoods, same story. We did have a couple opportunities for a few thunderstorms. Could see one or two maybe this afternoon yet, but uh, most likely staying dry through the overnight period with some passing clouds. So for the rest of our night, we're getting down to the middle 60s. There will be a light southwest breeze coming in at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A little uh, more calm than we have had for the past several nights. And like I said, taking some clouds through the overnight period. And now uh, looking at your seven day forecast one more time here. So we are going to be in those mid to upper 80s for the rest of the week and have a couple more chances for thunderstorms. That'll be Tuesday and Friday. And then a slight rain chance on Saturday. But then Justin, we are cooling off over the weekend. We're going to be dry Sunday into Monday. So that should feel pretty nice. A nice relief from the We're heat. slowly getting there throughout the 
the week, too, before the cool off over the weekend. That's right. It'll take some time. All right. People looking forward, I think, to a little bit of a break. Thank mm -hmm. you, Andrew. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 6. Wheel of Fortune is next. We'll see you back here tonight at 10 with more.